everybody, Matt here with Big Red Liquors, and today I've got an extremely rare, maybe the last time they do this, uh, High West Double Rye Single Barrel. And what does that mean? Well, we begged to get this product, um, knowing that maybe a sale was uh, happening soon and that the company would change hands, and it has finally arrived. And I gotta say, as soon as the 200 ml sample bottle arrived and the accountants killed it in about five minutes, I knew that this was going to be something that was really special. There's actually two barrels here. One of them, this one, 102 proof, it's double rye that was then mingled and aged for an additional 1.4 years in a rye barrel that had formerly held MGP rye for 12 years. So this was like a granddaddy barrel, as seasoned as it could possibly get, that held this juice for 1.4 years, taken out of the barrel, bottled at 102 proof. This is perfection. So what, you know, everybody's kind of familiar with the MGP flavor profile, okay? That's the distillery here in the great state of Indiana that sells a lot of stuff. Uh, to lots of craft distillers all over the place. Uh, they bottle it as their own. Some people filter it different. Some people age it different. Uh, this is the double rye, so it's got some two-year-old MGP. It's got some older Barton rye that's mixed in. And then when it's finished in that other rye barrel, something really cool happens. Um, usually those younger MGP ryes have this, this very piney, very gin-like uh, profile in both the nose and the flavor. But what has happened here is that it's taken those, those cinnamon and those clove notes and that eucalyptus and all of that's still there. But it has gained this extra thing, this extra angle, this extra flavor that is such a beautiful, rich, creamy mouthfeel. You can, you can get it in the nose. It's more round. Um, it's got some tropical fruit. It's got that spice again. Oh man, it's got some citrus and it's got a little bit of like ginger in there. Oh, let's taste it. Mm. Oh my God. Really creamy and it's 7 a.m. So that's why I'm spitting today, but um, really rich, deep kind of creaminess. This reminds me of like a of a Highland whiskey, an 18 year old Highland whiskey. Uh, if you're a Scotch drinker, you will immediately know and recognize that mouthfeel. Uh, it's just God. It's just classic. This is something that um, you know. No exaggeration. This may be in my top three for the year. Um, this is a fantastic whiskey. Uh, if and when High West sells, it's no secret that they're looking for a buyer. Uh, this is not going to come around. It's possible that this won't come around again because they're going to have to expand. Uh, and usually when a company expands to try to gain share in the marketplace, they have to cut special programs like this. They, I'm not sure if they'll do that, but um, I do know that this whiskey is very unique. If you liked Midwinter Night's Dram, uh, if you like that over-the-top spice and flavor, now you've got this sort of baked rye meatiness and depth to, the, to this whiskey, to this profile that uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to see again. So uh, the sister barrel to this was finished in a uh, Manhattan barrel, which is going to be really interesting. But for now, this double rye finished in a rye barrel, so I guess you call it a triple rye. Um, already I think in my top three for the year uh, just a classic and I hate to sell it and at $54.99 it's a steal so pick up as many bottles as you can this thing's gorgeous cheers